What's going on, people? We are back at it again. Catechism Tuesdays, week 44. I am John. This yeah, is... All right, let's get right into our question. What is baptism? The answer, baptism is the washing with water in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It signifies and seals our adoption into Christ, our cleansing from sin, and our commitment to belong to the Lord and to his church. Now, Pastor V, last week we talked about uh, the ordinances or sacraments about baptism, um, as well as uh, the Lord's Supper. This one is actually talking about specifically baptism. Uh, help us understand that a little bit more. Well, you know, baptism, like it says, is, is a, sign a signifier and a seal of our I like to say our committed relationship with Jesus. I mean, to believe in Jesus, uh, to, well, to be saved, what we have to do is believe by faith in Jesus Christ. We're saved. Baptism is like the signing is, is like signing the, the 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 dotted line at the bottom of that. It's a way of publicly saying, mm. "I am with Jesus. I'm committed to to, to Christ." And yeah, I, whenever I think of, and whenever I think of baptism, I always think of uh, something I read from uh, it was a book by Lauren Weiner. I think is her her last name, and she talks about how our baptism vows outlast our marriage vows which just always hmm. blew my mind, if you think about it, that at the center of the universe is a committed relationship between the Lord God and his people, and that will last forever. Wow. To be baptized is a way of publicly saying, I'm part of that story. I'm part of a relationship that will last forever. And all the relationships we have, even our very best ones, the best church relationship you have, the best marriages you have, are sort of just shadows. They're signposts pointing to that ultimate relationship. And baptism, you know, I think, is actually sort of like an early taste of that, early reminder uh, an early indication of the fact that you're part of this bigger story. Man, that was amazing. That was good. <laughs> what was the name of that book? <laughs> uh, it was by, the author is Lauren Weiner. Lauren Weiner, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to check that book out. That was really good. Um, so, yeah. One thing I, I will want to add to, or just elaborate a little bit more, is you mentioned commitment. Well, I cover it. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned commitment. Uh, I think that's a big big word yeah. um it's a public commitment right yeah as you as someone is going to get uh immersed in the water right yeah and bring and brought back up letting people know out loud i'm with jesus right exactly yeah which was very costly back then mm -hmm. but that commitment in our culture commitment is a is a is a, is a flaky thing yeah. right it's something that like a lot of people don't really want to do yeah they don't like it they want this uh you know this culture is is a is very uh i don't know very like Instagramish, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, very instant. They don't want the commitment type mm -hmm. of thing. So, when you say baptism it, is that commitment, I, I think that, that that's a big thing that I think some people uh, would like, but maybe some people probably wouldn't like. So, mm -hmm. I just think that's something to be said and be pointed out. Yeah, and well, and when I think maybe baptism is the encouragement that like this is this is something worth committing to. Um, this is something worth uh, giving your life towards. Yeah. Hey. Well, there you have it, folks. Catechism Tuesday, week 44. I'm John. This is Pastor V. Uh, if this was um, in any way helpful to you, uh, we encourage you to, to share it with other people, people, share it with your friends, your coworkers, your classmates. Uh, we'll love for this to be able to spread in the social media world so we can be able to uh, just have a dialogue about it. So encourage you to go ahead and share that. Um, Love God, love people. We are out. Peace.